people who no longer need or want to be in your life is to honor yourself and surrender to the natural flow of life. You let go of someone not because you no longer care, not because you no longer need or want them in your life, but because you understand that they will be happier someplace else. You will be happy someplace else. One of the hardest things in life is to let go of people we love the most. We hold on to those close to us so tightly, fearing that without them we will be nothing, fearing that without them the love we feel in our hearts will forever be lost. Our attachments to the people in our lives interfere with the love we have for them, taking away from the purity and the beauty love has to offer. How to let go of people who no longer need or want to be in your life. Quote, Love allows your beloved the freedom to be unlike you. Attachment asks for conformity to your needs and desires. Love imposes no demands. Attachment expresses an overwhelming demand. Make me feel whole. Love expands beyond the limits of two people. Attachment tries to exclude everything but two people. Unquote. Deepak Chopra. Letting go doesn't have to be hard. In fact, it becomes easier and easier as we learn to accept, appreciate, and love ourselves for who we are and for who we are not. By releasing and letting go of our unhealthy attachments, we return to a place of peace and tranquility, and from that place, our love will liberate not only ourselves, but also those around us. Quote, Love liberates. It doesn't just hold. That's ego. Love liberates. It doesn't bind. Love says, I love you. I love you if you're in China. I love you if you're across town. I love you if you're in Harlem. I love you. I would like to be near you. I'd like to have your arms around me. I'd like to hear your voice in my ear. But that's not possible now. So I love you. Go. Maya Angelou. There comes a time in our lives when we have to do what's right, a time when we are asked to honor not only ourselves, but also the people around us. And we do this by letting go. We let go not because we are weak, but because we are mature enough to realize that it's the relationship we are releasing and not the love we have in our heart for the other person. If you love someone and if you feel it in your heart that you need to let them go, If it's required to let them go, it would be wise to do so. It might hurt at first, but once the pain is gone, you will feel more alive than you have ever felt, and you will start to see things from a totally different perspective. From that place, you will understand better than ever that letting go is a sign of strength, courage, and great love, and not a sign of weakness or lack of love. You let go of someone, Not because you no longer care, not because you no longer need or want them in your life, but because you understand they will be happier someplace else. You will be happier someplace else. This is what true love is all about. Real love transcends the material plane, and no matter if your bodies are apart, your souls will forever be connected. There is no need to fear, no need to worry, and no need to hold yourself or anyone else hostage to love. Always remember that love liberates. It doesn't just hold. That's ego. Love liberates. Quote, Some birds are not meant to be caged. That's all. Their feathers are too bright. Their songs too sweet and wild. So you let them go. Or when you open the cage to feed them, they somehow fly out past you. And the part of you that knows it was wrong to imprison them in the first place rejoices. But still, the place where you live is that much more drab and empty for their departure. Unquote. Stephen King. The path to letting go. Letting go of people who no longer need or want to be in our lives starts with an intention to do so. We let go because we have learned to honor not only ourselves and our truth, but everyone around us also. We let go because we know that we have no right to interfere with anyone's path in life, 
nor are we entitled to claim or act as though people belong to us. Learn to love yourself, learn to be good to yourself, for in doing so, you'll know how to be truly good and loving towards others. Change the thoughts you think and the words you speak. Purify your internal dialogue. Pray, meditate, seek to connect with that part of you that transcends space and time, that part of you that is unlimited and eternal. Spend time alone with yourself. Take a walk outside as often as possible and learn to explore nature with your senses. Write about your thoughts and feelings. Do something you're passionate about. Go out with your friends. Laugh, dance, be silly, be weird, be playful and childlike. Do all the things that bring you joy and laughter. Treat yourself with kindness, love and compassion and learn to express your gratitude for the many gifts life offered you up until this moment. Take your focus away from those things that cause you to feel pain, stress, anxiety, fear and so much unhappiness and place it onto those things that make your heart sing, onto those things that make you feel joyful and alive. For in doing all of these wonderful things and many others, you learned the power of loving everything and being attached to nothing. Let go and trust. Let go and trust that maybe life has better plans for you. Go with the natural flow of life, not against it, and liberate everyone, yourself including, from the many bonds and fearful attachments. Why hold on to something good when life wants you to have something better? And this is how to let go of people who no longer need or want to be in your life. May these words inspire and empower you to find the inner strength, courage, and confidence to free yourself from all that is not love so that you can experience what true love is really all about. Thank you for watching. If this video spoke to you, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave your sweet comment in the comment section down below.